Good morning, friends, followers, subscribers, and my army of Trevorites, 157,000 of you. Thank you for sticking with me on this channel. But I'm really talking to the subscribers because the subscribers are the, only, are the only ones that matter on this channel. No one else does. I don't give a damn. Right, people, it's Monday morning. So what's happened on Monday morning so far? Well, I've been up. Breakfast is made. The boys are fed. My son's at school. My dog's not well still. But he's booked in for 10 a.m. with the vet today. Cost an arm and a leg. But, you know, he's he's important. He's important to me. Keeps my anxiety down, and I've got to try and keep his down a minute. I've done everything you've said to me in the emails you've sent me. Trevor, try this, try that, try that. I've done everything. So it's now, get to the vet, and we'll see. But last night, uh, I want to thank all of you that decided to join my live stream last night. Must promote that. Soldier on Coffee Company, yes. Anyway, those of you that uh, came on my live stream, I appreciate it. I had loads of messages come in. It was all, it was all re relevant. But I did get the one, the, the odd one or two dickheads, if I'm honest, posting nonsense. Someone said to me, uh, I blame what's happening in Israel on Queen Elizabeth. I just went, delete block. And there's a few of you, and I will say, and listen, I want you, to, if you're part of this, if you are who I'm about to mention, I'm going to get rid of you from the channel because I don't want your opinion. I know I like to have people's opinions, but sometimes people's opinions don't deserve to be erred. And I don't want to give you the satisfaction of posting your shit on my channel. And one of them is this. But Trevor, the attacks on Israel are because of... See the minute you say are because of or, or but, you're gone. There's no justification for killing innocent people. I grew up in Northern Ireland. I seen bombs going off in Belfast. Innocent people, women and children blown to bits. Okay, there's no justification for it. They're really not. And I, and anyone that thinks there is, is scum in my, in my, um, right. So what have I looked at? So I'm now seeing photographs this morning of the leader, the leader of Hamas, the terrorist organization from Palestine, the leader, photographs of him in his lovely office in Qatar, cheering and celebrating the attacks on the Israeli people. Listen, Interpol, you have a job. Surely the international community should be sending people to Qatar to arrest and detain those scumbags who think they can get away with it in Qatar. If America can send Navy SEALs into Pakistan for bin Laden, I'm sure you can send teams into Qatar to sort this out. Get these people, get them arrested. Detain them. You should never be celebrating the death of... of I mean... I'm seeing footage this morning sent to me of, of innocent women and children being kidnapped and used as hostages. I mean, come on, people. It's disgusting. Um, but I'm going to say well done to Prime Minister of Israel, who's sending in teams all over Gaza. They have destroyed Gaza. And people will say, oh, but the innocent people of Palestine will suffer. The innocent people of Palestine are harboring groups of individuals who think it's okay to kidnap women and children and torture them. Now, if that's the type of people you're trying to protect, then maybe it's time we wipe them off the face of the earth because they are not the right people to have in society. And I don't care who I offend when I say that. Veterans, you wanted to go and help out in Ukraine? Well, why not volunteer and go to Israel and help wipe out Hamas? That would be a good thing. Yeah. If someone was to pay me money to go, I haven't got money for flights, but if someone was to pay me money and give me lots of this and lots of that, yeah. I'd go over and help defeat terrorism. Terrorism should be nowhere in society and we should not be endorsing it. We shouldn't be. Let me know what you think below, but don't stand for terrorism. You, you can't, there's no justification for it, people. They're really not. Uh, in other news, I'm getting a little bit bored of all this crap. Dry January, sober October, Movember, LGBT month, black history. I'm sick of this nonsense, nonsense that's coming out. Everyone, do you know what? And here's the thing. Do you know what's behind all this? Money. Money for this and money for that. No one does this for free. No one does any of this for free. It's all about money. It really is. And it's, it's, it's disgusting. I'm just getting bored of it all. You have all these things, month, 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 month. Yeah. And, and remembrance. Day, 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 yep. We fought for all these things to have freedom and we're given one day. And all this shit is, gets a month thrown at it. It's ridiculous. Uh, 
I just don't like any of it. What is it now? October? What's it called? Sober October? Sober October? I've already blew that. I had a cider last night. So there we go. Yeah, everyone's different. Everyone's different. Labour Party have released the... Listen, I don't like any of the parties. I'm just pointing this out. Labour Party have said that they're going to increase spending. They're going to increase spending in order to fund their campaigns. Surely that's not a good idea to get to get into power. We need we need to decrease decrease spending. Stop giving money away. That's how you get the votes. Stop giving taxpayers money away to people. Save. Maybe you should put a policy together. Well, if we get in power, we're going to save money here, 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 and here. Oh, that sounds great. Maybe I'll vote for you. But see this here. We're going to increase spending. We want to promote. I don't know, Hispanic month or something. I mean, it's just, oh, really, just stop it. Stop it. We don't need this. For you to increase spending means we have to pay more to you. Mm. I never did a degree in finances, but it's common sense. It really is. Mm. There we go. And I've noticed this morning that uh, every world leader has come out and condemned what's happened in Israel. Apart from Obama and Bill Clinton. If you weren't aware, Palestine is run off handouts. Yes, yes, nearly 80% of Palestinians are unemployed and they live off foreign aid. Yeah, yeah America gives them uh, something like 300 million a year, America, uh, American government invest in Palestine. 300 million, yes. The rest of the world gives money. I tell you what you do, stop funding them. Stop funding them. Because it's quite clear that a lot of that money is going towards weaponry, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, weapons aren't free. We need to end this, don't we? There's a lot of stories in today's media, but they're all they're all nonsense. They're all nonsense. I mean, I mean, honestly. The price of chocolate was it um this year, this year, consumers may suffer. They may not get Ferrero Rocher, Ferrero Rocher this year because there's been a problem with drought in Turkey and insects, which has hindered the manufacture of hazelnuts, which means consumers may struck. I don't give a shit about Ferrero Rocher. I'm sure you don't either. Is that really going to ruin our Christmas? No, it's not. It, the only people that's going to be affected by that or the board of directors and the bosses at the top of Ferro Rocher aren't going to get their bonuses. Other than that, no one gives a shit about Ferro Rocher. In the grand scheme of things, that story made it into the media. Hmm. Crazy, isn't it? The amount of nonsense there is in today's media. There really is. Looking forward to watching the movie coming out. Yeah, it's being produced right now. Yes, The Wagatha. The Wagatha Tales. Colleen Rooney and Rebecca Varney. The story brought to a courtroom near you. Again, don't give a shit. I'm sure you don't either. Yeah. Interesting what's going on, isn't it? The world. The world's full of nonsense at the minute. And we're having to we're having to the sting stings our eyes. But anyway, I've been watching a show on Netflix called Bloodline. It is great. So go on to Netflix if you have it and watch Bloodline. I think you'll thoroughly enjoy it. If you're not going to watch that, you can go and watch Strictly Come Dancing. It's only a matter of weeks before a dancer shags a partner and a marriage is ruined. It's going to happen again, isn't it? Anyway, listen. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching my channel. And stay safe.